Hey everyone, so finally working on this 39A again to get it back together. Finally, I think I have most of the parts I need, at least enough to get working on it again. So you can see I've got the crankshaft kind of installed here. The other side is barely in, but um, I've got the main bearing in here. I've got our lock wire in. Actually, still need to check uh, the gap here, make sure it's the right clearance, but I assume it is. Um, so in the previous video, you know, we had talked about the transmission and such. So I've got the first reduction gear here back on. Can't forget the spacer. And then, uh, you know, this bearing here goes in the cover on the outside. You have your washer and the nut, but that's all after this first reduction gear cover goes on. Uh, you see, I've got some newspaper here because when you got the block off and everything, now is the time to paint this. So I cleaned it up, painted it. You could actually tell where like the block and head ended because it wasn't painted the last time that this tractor was painted. Um, and then you can see over there I got the block, got the bottom side of it painted. And uh, it may not make sense to only paint the bottom of the block and I'll do the head, but I figure if I don't get around to having this tractor painted anytime soon, it won't look weird with a you know fresh block painted all the way around. It'll just be the bottom of it. So. Like I tell my wife, I may be crazy, but there's at least uh, some sense of method to my madness. So yeah, uh, I plan to get this cover on here. The first reduction gear cover. I won't lie, getting this cover on is a pain with the gasket. So I have the gasket here from John Deere. It's of course rolled over. Um, I'm gonna use the aviation gasket maker and then here's the cover I cleaned all of this out because if you remember this had uh, grease and gunk and things in it because the last guy was greasing this bearing and it just don't do that um, the first reduction gear you know gets oil as it spins and then it should in theory drip down off that first reduction gear and feed this bearing somewhat. I, I know it's not ideal, but you put grease in here. It, like I said, it was all clumped up in here. I half wonder if that's why everything was kind of gunked up in the engine. Um, I haven't cleaned out the actual crankcase yet, but I will before I put the block on. Because while this is open, now's kind of the nice time to get in there and around the crankshaft and things. So. All right, let's uh, see if I can wrestle this thing up on there and get everything lined up and try and not ruin that gasket. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget the spring here also. Um, I got that sitting down here. Um, yeah, some tractors don't have this. Uh, I don't know that the... I know the late Bs do not, but the like A's and G's and things do. So, All right, here we go. Okay, so I think this is kind of important, so I'll show it. You can see I don't have it all the way on. Um, lifting it around the first reduction gear gets kind of interesting. Well, I don't know how to describe it. You just make it happen, get over that gear. What I did was I painted the backside, when I say painted, with sealant, the backside of the gasket, and I stuck that on because you have a dowel pin over here, I think it's down there. You've got a dowel pin here, and down here, you've got a stud to kind of help hold that at least until you get this cover on. That way you're not juggling the gasket and the cover. Uh, don't be like me, get all the bolts in, and exactly what I said not to do, I forgot the spring, so we've got the spring in there. Uh, but get it close, I think since, you know, these bolts are so long, um, I got one of these started first to kind of hold it and then go around and make sure that you're getting your fasteners in 
um, you know, you're not going through your gasket, go all the way around, you can get them all started, and then we'll suck this baby in, get all of them tightened, and uh, we'll, I'll tighten down this washer and this nut, and we'll get that cotter pin in eventually. So that actually went pretty smoothly. One other thing I did uh, in, a couple weeks ago was I put a new pin in here. This thing was pretty wobbly and solid now. Luckily, it, this uh, actual handle is not worn. It was just the bolt. So I very uh, gingerly supported this, you know, because you don't want to hammer on this and break it. So I supported the backside here as best I could, and then I pounded that bolt out. And then the new one, when I put the bolt in, um, you know, I, I would put pressure on the nut and then I would tap here, not, not hard, but just tap and just that force enough would be enough to feed it in until I got it all the way in. So you got to be careful. You can blow these out. I'm always afraid of it happening myself. They do have a tool, uh, that you can buy to force these in and out. I don't know, I'll probably kick myself someday when, when I do blow this out or something, but uh, so far it's gone okay for me. So, all right, let's suck this in. All right, so the next thing is getting this pulley back on. Uh, one of these clips here was broke. So I drilled out the old pin, wanted to put in a new one, Got it hot, didn't get it hot enough. Anyway, the, the rivets in there are good, but this is not, and I think this is not because after I got it on there, this is kind of short. Unlike the others, where that, I think, kind of helps keep it from rotating. Uh, well, it'll still hold the, the cover, so kind of is what it is. No, uh, I, I tried cleaning this up in here a little bit. It was it was a mess. Um, whenever I go to paint this tractor, I'll probably clean this out more. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, I don't quite have what I need to do that. Very important to grease this bearing in here. Uh, that bearing does not get oiled very well. Sometimes these tractors will have a, a sound going down the road a wine or something it could be that bearing could be lots of things but this bearing does not get grease so anytime you have this off want to make sure that that is grease so all right and ready to throw this on okay so now that that is on there because again this was too close to the wheel to get this off without shifting the crank that way so with that on I can now shift the crank back over. The important thing is uh, engaging of the gears. Let's see if uh, you guys can see it. There's two dots there. One is on the crankshaft. One is on the camshaft gear. And you can see it's tooth on the crankshaft to the opening on the uh, camshaft gear. Those have to line up. That's very important to the timing of everything because uh, that sets your cam to your crankshaft. So it's important to get that right. And then I can go ahead and uh, get that bearing together. I'll, I'll put the gasket on, get the bearing housing attached. And uh, I think at that point, uh, once I clean out the crankcase, we're ready to get the block on. Okay, so I got the main bearing on this side actually put in because before in order to have the crank out, I had a long bolt here and this was all, you know, kind of out a little bit. So got this in. Um, if you remember, I had new main bearings because I had a chunk missing out of the old ones. So I checked and just as I figured, honestly, this tractor was probably never adjusted, never worn enough. So um, I've got about three thousandths clear around it. It spins nicely. I put the flywheel on 
for a minute just to make sure it wasn't tight and bound up so i think that's good so with that the you know bolts that that compress this here i got the nuts on the cotter pins in i've got the plugs back in on the outside that's what these are for so that if you need to you can drive out those bolts um, in order to take this piece out and or add shims um, but you don't have to take them completely out to you know like i had this whole housing off and if you just separate them enough those uh, main bearing inserts just come out so again, I had the flywheel on. Uh, you want to make sure I got the oil lines hooked up, but before I did that, I put oil in here. I had to clean this out, and uh, I spun everything over to make sure I had oil going to the main bearings. Very essential. Minor detail. It only takes a few minutes, but you want to check that you're getting you know, good flow. Just spinning the flywheel slowly by hand, you will get oil to the bearings. So don't forget to do that. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the oil slinger on here. Um, I got something a little different. I'm curious to see how well it works. So a lot of these, they um, you're supposed to put a cork inside here. But um, Schumacher Tractor Parts, uh, they sell one with an O-ring in here. It's not quite an o-ring like i expected i expected more of a like a flat o-ring or or like an axle seal or something um but yeah it's a round o-ring in there so we're going to try that out rather than the cork it's like my g I, i've replaced the cork twice now and it, it still leaks through this and I, I don't know if the crankshaft there is worn or what but anyway so we'll we'll get this on and um We'll get the cover on. I got to make a gasket, and then that'll probably wrap things up for the moment. 